Hey guys, it's me, Brina. So I think I just want to do a vlog and talk about whatever because I'm just kind of stuck in the house. It was sort of a snow day for me today. Well, not really because I'm not actually in school, but I was supposed to go and get my hair cut in the city, but I couldn't really get to the train this morning because it's so icy outside. I was scared to walk because my mom had work and I don't have a license, so that's the only way I can get to the train station. And I figured I would like slip and fall and, or get run over because I can't walk on the sidewalk. So I just decided to cancel it, even though I really need a haircut. But I did walk to Walgreens, which is closer, and it was later in the day. So a lot of the snow had melted. And I dyed my hair, well, just the tips. I bleached them, and it's kind of weird. I don't really know. But I just decided to do it because I actually was going to turn them purple. I may still do that tomorrow or something. But I'm getting a haircut really soon, and I'm going to have to get like a pretty good amount cut off. So I decided to do something kind of funny to the ends just for now because I'm getting bored of my hair. So I think I'm going to turn them purple, but I kind of liked it bleached. So I got, like I stopped midway of the purple kit because they're like, okay, step one, bleach it. Step two, turn it purple. And I didn't get up to the purple. I can't decide whether to do it or not because I kind of like this. It kind of reminds me of like Native American-y for absolutely no reason because I don't see any resemblance between this and Native American-y, but I feel like they could have had this. But why would they bleach their hair? That's really dumb. I don't know. It just, like, gives off that, like, vibe to me. And normally I don't really like it when the ends are blonde. But these ends are not even blonde. They're kind of, like, awkward yellow. I don't know. But anyway, so what has been happening in my life? Oh, my God. So yesterday I told you it's crazy snowing in Connecticut. Maybe I can just put on some pictures because the snow is, like, 13 inches. So this guy was plowing because, you know, he was just plowing because that's what you do in the snow, like snow plowing. And he's really mean, by the way. He it always gives my mom dirty looks and like, nah, I don't know, he's like just mean. And he got three of his fingers stuck in the snow plow machine and they like flew, I don't even know, they're like gone. And everyone was looking, everyone was trying to like help him find these fingers. And we don't know where they're going to turn up until the snow melts. Hopefully they're stuck in the snow plow machine, like... I mean, not hopefully, I guess, because it would be nice for him to get his fingers back, but I think it's too late, and he's just going to have to go through fingerless. That, oh my god, like, could you imagine? My mom was going to get a snowplow for us, because that way we wouldn't have to, like, shovel as much, but now she's not going to, because obviously they're dangerous, and he was probably being stupid or something, because you don't hear about that that often, but, because, like, otherwise, I feel like a lot of people might have snowplowers, and then tons of people would just be, like, fingerless, but... Most people have their fingers, so, I don't know. It would just kind of suck, like, to lose three fingers. That just sucks. But, yeah, so, I mean, I guess it was karma for being mean, but I don't really know, because I think that being, like, giving someone dirty looks, or I don't even know what he does, but that is much, like, less of a big deal than losing three fingers, so I still feel pretty bad for him, because, you know, he's out of a few fingers. And so, but basically, the point is that we could, like, find fingers in our yard once the snow melts. How creepy is that? So I hope we don't find the fingers because they live across the street from us and who knows where these fingers blew. Yeah, so what else in my life is happening? Oh, I got a Polaroid and I absolutely love it. And my mom thinks it's dumb. She's like, well, digital is so much cooler. And I'm like, no, Polaroids are so, so much cooler. You can probably see in my vlog, sorry, I, like, shake my legs and stuff because I just can't sit still, but... You can probably see in my vlog that, like, some of the pictures I put up, my last vlog, the one where I'm like, hey guys, I missed you. Oh my god, that reminds me. Well, I'll get to that in a minute, but, yeah, so, you can probably see some of the pictures are Polaroids, and they're just so, like, little and cute, and I just love it. It's one of the new Polaroids, and then I also got a Barbie Polaroid, but I don't really know where I put it. But if you guys are thinking about getting the Polaroids, they sell them in Bloomingdale's. They sell the film in Bloomingdale's. The only thing is, it's really expensive. It's like a dollar a picture. So I try to use my pictures, like, really sparingly. Because otherwise, you know, like, a dollar a picture is a lot, I feel like. Oh my god, I don't know what just happened. Things are just flying about because it's snowing. Oh yeah, I really, really want to thank you guys for not being mean to me when I left YouTube. And then came back. I really appreciate it. Like, honestly, I expected to go back to YouTube. I was scared. Like, I was going to make a video in school, but I was scared to log on to my YouTube account. Because, first of all, I was nervous I got hacked. I didn't even want to know. Because, 
you guys know I have a history of that, and I guess I'm not getting hacked anymore, which I'm so, oh my god, I'm so excited, I can't believe it, because, I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but every time I get hacked, it's just so upsetting, and if I got hacked again, like, I honestly don't know if I could bring myself to do YouTube again, but, oh yeah, so anyway, um, I really wanted to thank you guys, because I got onto YouTube after three months of being off of YouTube, and I was like, okay, I can take it, I can handle myself, and like, read all the hate mail that I'm going to get, and I didn't get anything, like, people just were wondering where I was, because I didn't say anything, and I didn't say anything because I waited a month before I even, like, thought about it, I was so busy, and then I was like, well, it's already been a month, is it, like, I just, I don't know, I just didn't even want to think of YouTube because I was scared to go back, but I didn't get any hater comments for it, so that is so nice, and I really, really appreciate it, and now I know that, like, I can always come back to YouTube, and that made me, like, really appreciate you guys even more. And, that, of course, like, I do get some hate and things like that, but not on the fact that I left, because that was really what I was nervous about. I was just nervous, I was just nervous that people who were, like, my loyal subscribers were going to turn on me because I just kind of, like, left you guys hanging, you know? But, I mean, there are a lot of YouTube people out there, and I don't want to sound conceited by being, like, you guys, all your focus is on me, and I just left and abandoned you guys, and you guys have no one else. Like, obviously you have other people, but you know what I mean. Oh, cool, my mom's home, so I think I'm going to go to the supermarket now, and have a great day, everyone.